Hello again. Uh, this is uh, part two of the MetaTrader 4 basic tutorial. Uh, so why don't we go ahead and get started here. Uh, next what I wanted to do was go over the uh, navigator window. Uh, as you can see under accounts you have um, the different accounts that we made in the uh, previous uh, video. Now let me go over the expert advisors now. As you can see, um, it always comes preloaded with uh, two of these expert advisors, the MACD sample and the moving average. Uh, to get these up and running, you can pretty much just drag, drop, put your perimeters in here, you know, allow, allow live uh, trading, whatnot. And for the indicators now, why don't we go ahead and throw a couple on here. Uh, let's say under the indicators window here, uh, let's see here. Why don't we put the MACD on there? Here we go. Simply just drag and drop it on the chart. Okay it, and there you go. Now you see you have the MACD. You can resize it to your specification here. Just like that. Why don't we go ahead and throw another one on here. Let's throw the RSI, which is the uh, relative strength index. Drag and drop. Okay it, and here you go on the bottom. And of course, you can resize it. Now, in order to de to delete these, what you simply do is just right-click, delete indicator, right-click, delete indicator, and there. As you can see, we have uh, various tools up here. Uh, we have the trend line, the Fibonacci retracement. To put these on, what you would simply do is uh, let's see here. Why don't we? Um, do a little bit of TA here. Uh, let's check this out here. Okay. Um, uh, let's do. Okay. What you know? If um, <clears throat> for example, if you want to put a trend line, uh, just click it. Make sure it's, uh, the button's like pushed in. Left click, hold it, and put it in the direction or in the way that you want it, and then you simply let go. And then, of course, if you want to uh, move it again. You just have to double click and then you'll see these little these little squares pop up and then you can um, move it from there again. Uh, why don't we put a Fibonacci retracement on here? Uh, let's see, here we go. Simply click on that, go for the top, drag it to the bottom, and there you go. And now we have the Fibonacci retracements. Now, if, of course, if you want to see a little bit bigger, uh, you can always uh, zoom in go to the last bar or you can always go since we're on the 30 minute if we go in the 15 minute it's going to enlarge in a little bit more because of course now it's on a 15 minute each bar is 15 minutes now if we wanted to delete uh, these uh, for example um, let's delete the uh, Fibonacci retracement if you can see this red line here we just double click on that and wait for that little square to pop up see here and here now all we have to do is just press the delete key on the keyboard. There you go. Now I wanted to go over the uh, terminal window, which is uh, down here. As you can see, um, there's a trade tab, account history, news, alerts, mailbox, experts, and journal. Uh, basically, what your tr under your trade tab, you can see the balance here, which is 50000 the equity is 50000 and of course, the free margin is 50000 because we this is a fresh new account with $50,000. Now, of course, when we do have an open position, the equity is going to fluctuate. Uh, basically, equity is uh, it's all your closed positions as well as your open positions. So you can see here. We got 49,917. We just went long one lot, one full lot. Now, if we wanted to close this trade, why don't we go ahead and close this out the market? Just simply double click down here and just click close. And there you go. Now, what we can do. Uh, I always like this too. If you click on account history, now of course you can see um, all your closed positions, your profit and losses. Um, if you right click on the uh, somewhere on the on the terminal window, 
if you go to save as detailed report you can actually see all of your trades uh, let me move this over here I got dual monitors here there we go so this would show all your trades um, on your statement also uh, you know there's nothing here because we don't have a uh, any uh, record of trading because we just opened this demo account but once you do you'll see a graph here with your equity curve uh, move this over now why don't we go ahead and put an order in and I want to show you how to uh, put a stop loss in as well as a chilling stop uh, we're just going to go ahead and uh, go long the euro USD we'll buy a mini lot which is 0 0.1 we'll buy that at the market <coughs> And there we go. Now, as you can see here, where we, the green line here is where we bought it. Now, the thing is that you have to remember is this last price is the bid. It is not the ask. So, for instance, we just bought the Euro USD. We bought it on the ask. So, it's actually because it's a two pip spread. It's two pips above where this last price is at, which we just purchased. Now, why don't we go ahead and put a stop loss on this? Uh, let's see here. Um, Simply what you can do is click on the trade tab and then you can see your open position right here. Just double click it and we'll go to modify order and we're going to put a stop loss in. Now this is pretty cool too because even though this window is up you can still come down here and um, you know unlike other platforms you can pretty much size where you want to go with this. Uh, let's say let's put a stop loss at 41.28 so I can just click this 41.28 move this down or you you wouldn't have to click the uh, up and down arrow. You can actually put it in as well. But let's go ahead and put that in 41, 21. Oops. Okay. Modify it. And there we go. Now, as you can see down here, let me move this down a little bit. Now we have the stop loss here. Now the thing is now to put a trailing stop, the thing you have to realize with a trailing stop is uh, a lot of folks, you know, um, can really uh, lose their rear end. Uh, if they pop a trailing stop, you know, say 15 pips, and then that's it, leave it at that. The thing is if you don't put a stop in first and you put a trailing stop for, let's say, 15 pips, well, guess what? If you go long in a position and as soon as you put that trailing stop in, it starts going south, you have no stop loss. So make sure you always put in that, uh, con I like to call concrete stop loss in first, and then slap a trailing stop on there. And then, of course, from here, let's see here, uh, we'll put a 15-point pip. So basically what will happen is I purchase it right here. Once it moves up 15 pips, that is when the trailing stop will be activated, and you'll be able to see it move here as well. Well, I can't think of anything else off the top of my head uh, to add into this basic tutorial, but uh, if you did enjoy this video and uh, you did learn something or you're looking for a demo, if you would uh, click on the link on the top right of your screen, I would highly appreciate that. And other than that, uh, take care.